I'm always excited about when China is going to take over. What's your approach to making uh, making music? Because it seems some, some, sometimes a bit yeah, like you're making art. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's something which I think it's it's a, like an opportunity to express ideas, you know, with music, and it's it's a question of whether sometimes it's is it a, is it entertainment or is it something that you can use to critique maybe society or, or, or talk philosophy, you know, about, you know, some more philosophical things, you know. So I, I, I like to think of using music in a way uh, to, to help, you know, create discussion, you know. How have you done that? Because one was about witches, right? Yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, it was called Drums Not Dead. Um, yeah, well, basically, we've, I, I, I'm I, like try and think of something uh, and come up with an idea that I, I believe in, you know, and and follow it through to an end. And yeah, it creates all sorts of discussion, you know. Uh, sometimes it's because people don't understand, or sometimes it's because people love it, and then it's between those people that arguments happen. You know, it's it's really interesting. Uh, I love that about any kind of art where people take sides, you know, and and really, you know. You know, think about what they like. Yeah. You do inspire discussion. Yeah. You also participate. Yeah, I, I like to. Well, it, it it has depended on record on which record. This this recent one that we did, Sister World, I think, is is participating more in the discussion. Uh, which one? Um, well, I think uh, just a discussion about how people fit into society, or how how it might feel if you don't fit in. And what 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 do you do in that circumstance? And uh, we were in Los Angeles making this record, and I, it's a really interesting city because, for that reason because it seems like, you know, there's a there's a uh, an idea of what Los Angeles is, and it and it draws people in as this kind of paradise where you can, you know, make make it as a star or something. And a lot of people don't, you know, and they get rejected. And, and so it's interesting to see what they, those people do to sort of survive in, in that environment. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting how society deals with those people. Yeah. You have, though, kind of succeeded. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it depends on, on which way you look at it. I mean, I, I think that, that for ourselves, you know, you can feel a certain sense of, of satisfaction in, in doing the work, but then in a, in a broader scope, it's sometimes hard to see how you know, we fit in, you know, and uh, you can feel sometimes quite alienated from the culture, you know, because in, in America particularly, it's, it's, it's all about sort of being happy and, and optimistic all the time, you know. That's not what you were about. Well, I am, I am quite, quite sometimes, but, but uh, sort of the idea to be sort of permanently, you know, optimistic about things is difficult sometimes if you're not always in line with that. And, can make you feel a little isolated, particularly in a place like LA, where people are sort of cosmetically got you know smiles on their faces. So it's a it's a strange place to be. Yeah, because you, um, the, I'd say the surrounding way records it really has an influence on how the how the record sounds, right? Yeah, I mean it depends again, like on how much you want to open your eyes. And let it in, you know. I, I we we made some records in Berlin before, and for me that actually was was kind of less about the environment and and more about being shut off from it, because I I didn't speak German, and so I I, I guess I had the opportunity to sort of close the world off, you know, so that I, I wasn't taking in TV or newspapers or things like that so it gave me the chance to be sort of isolated so in that way I wasn't really taking the city wasn't really you know having that much of an influence but it depends on how you how you want to use it you know? the way you feel there yeah yeah so how long were you in, like, in Berlin? oh so it was almost four years you didn't speak German no <laughs> so really isolated then, yeah right? For so long but 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 and in, in a kind of great way I mean I you know, when I left there, it was, I was living in New York before, and it was, it was very, very intense, I felt. And it was during, you know, Bush and, um, you know, the Iraq war. I felt like, uh, you know, going to Berlin, I had the chance to sort of try and block 
that out. It was it felt like a big influence on me before, and I I wondered whether it, you know why. You know, I'm from Australia, and I don't need to. You know, I questioned why why am I living in America? You know, and uh, and it was a good opportunity for me to go away from that and um, and sort of do some I think work that was a little more introspective. Uh, but then certainly after that amount of time, really, of not talking to anybody, you know, uh, I just craved it. And, I, and going back to Los Angeles was like, like drinking in, you know, the media again, you know. <laughs>